I'm Tom from DIY Life Tech, and this is a look at using the Nolkson Tire Inflator to inflate the tire on your car. So I've got my car here. I'm going to um, take the little cap off of the Schrader valve on there, and then I'm going to take the end piece here and put it over the valve and then just lock it down. Push it all the way in. You might hear it airflow at first. That's fine. Lock it in place. We're good to go. You can use this on bicycle tires and things too. And then on here, we've got a I don't know if it leaks a little, you might have to adjust the, the angle here. Um, we've got a little power button. We're going to press this for about three seconds to switch it on. And we're going to get a reading on the PSI of the tire. Right now it's 22 and a half. That's definitely too low. So I want to set what I want it to be. I want it to be 32 PSI. That's the rating you can check on your car. It's usually by the driver's side door. There's a little panel that says what your tire should be. Now I'm just going to single press the power button here. Now, it generally takes about maybe 10 minutes to get the pressure all the way up, so it's definitely slower than the ones you would have in a gas station, but you just let it sit there and it'll, it'll uh, top that up, especially if you're closer to your target or if you're inflating a smaller tire, like a bike tire, it's gonna take less time. Um, and then when we're done, we just take this off of the valve there. You can see the PSI is gonna go back to zero on here. And then we're just gonna shut this down by holding down the power button for another three seconds. Now we can charge up the battery in here again by plugging it into a USB port on the back here. It comes with a little charging cable you can use to charge that up. And overall, I find this works great. It's a good thing to have topped up, ready to go in the back of your car. If you do get a uh, you know low tire warning, low tire pressure warning, I wouldn't, you know, use it routinely. I think it'll usually charge, I usually uh, inflate the tire by about 10 PSI uh, on a single charge of the unit. So it's really more for like an emergency situation or to top you up until you can make it to the gas station and get a patch in your tire if you have a leak um, or to top up the tires, you know, if the temperature changes very dramatically, but you're not gonna top up or fill up every single tire in your car. It's really for, you know, small adjustments. Uh, the other thing I think it's great for, though, is things like inflating a bike tire, because if you want to uh, inflate that bike tire pretty quickly, much smaller tire, you can definitely do both tires on a bike, you could probably do a family's worth of bikes with this uh, without having to, uh, to recharge again. So very cool, very compact little unit here, great to have as part of the kit in your car, and great also for inflating those other things around the house, you have bike tires, even uh, it comes with an attachment to inflate um, you know, balls and, uh, and things you might play with, that kind of thing. So um, really great, you know, also uh, pool floats, that, that kind of uh, toy too. So really great little uh, device here. Definitely gonna keep this in the back of my car.